Welcome to wild, remote Republic of Congo, where you can get up close and personal with Western lowland gorillas. The Republic of Congo, not to be confused with the ironically named Democratic Republic of Congo across the river, is an ex-French colony and a peaceful, stable place. Our destination? pristine Odzala Kakawa National Park in the north. In its capital, Brazzaville, we met our friendly pilots and boarded a charter flight. We gazed at stunning forests, savannah and rivers with practically no development. After about 30 minutes, we landed at a remote strip, were welcomed by our hosts and taken in four-wheel drive vehicles for a three and a half hour ride through the jungle. We arrived at Nagaga, a beautiful group of huts in the middle of prime western lowland gorilla territory. Here we settled in, met our guide Alon and the rest of the crew, and had a drink. <laughs> the next day we trek through the lovely Marantasi rainforest with our gorilla tracker. Oh, cool. <laughs> the gorillas eat the broad leaves of the Marantasi plants and use them as bedding. The gorilla's bedroom. The leaves also attract many cool insects. We follow our tracker through thick stands of Marantasi, seeing signs the gorillas are close. And then... Look! Look! Oh, wow! Wow! Western lowland gorillas, unlike their relatives the mountain gorillas, live in rainforests and spend much of their time foraging and playing in trees. These gentle vegetarians are critically endangered because they're threatened by trophy hunting, habitat loss and diseases, especially Ebola which wiped out an entire population in the Congo in 2005. These gorillas have been semi-habituated so researchers can study them, but they're still healthily wary of people. We had to wear masks so we couldn't pass on human diseases. Researchers have called this troop the Neptune Pack. Here's Neptune, the silverback, and Calliope, the wise older female. After our fascinating hour with the gorillas, we wander around the jungle, seeing other glorious creatures. We pile into the four-wheel drive with Alain, our guide as driver, to buy supplies from a local village. It's been raining heaps and we get stuck in the puddles and potholes of the muddy track quite a bit. Eventually, we reach the village and buy bananas.
people are very sweet. Ladies show us how to make flour out of manioc, an easily grown root crop which sadly has little nutritional value. Now we're watching the other semi-habituated troop of gorillas, the Jupiter pack, who have settled near our lodge today. Before this troop was studied, it was not known these peaceful animals dug in the ground to find roots and grubs to eat. The baby gorilla in the background has an infected cut over one eye, probably from being swiped by a tree branch while riding on their mother's back. Infant mortality is high. Unless a population is threatened, researchers let nature take its course. On average, western lowland gorillas live for between 30 and 40 years in the wild. Today we sadly leave David, Olivier and Bridget, who've looked after us so well at Nagaga. Alon will stay with us and drive us to our next lodge, Lango. It's misty when we set off, but the haze clears and we drive through Odzala Kakao National Park and across the savannah. We see some amazing wildlife amongst the tall grasses. Thanks for joining us on our exploration. In part two, the adventure continues among the forests and savannah of Lango Lodge.